Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and uh, this is my review of Dexter Season 6, Episode 7. Nebraska. One very good, in my opinion. Well, okay, it, it's not that it wasn't very good, it's that a storyline that at first appeared to be going somewhere or at least at the end of the last episode, which was a great episode, had a great cliffhanger with Rudy, Brian, whatever his name is, showing up. You know, eventful things. This week we sidetracked, and as of right now, we sidetracked for no reason, other than to fill an hour of television. I understand that this may come back later on in the season, so I guess I have to reserve, wait to reserve judgment completely on this, like, you know, on this little sidetrack thing here. Um, but if that was it, if, like, the whole point of, like, Brother Sam, you know, builds up with Dexter, and then he, you know, a relationship, and then he gets killed, which sends Dexter down, like, a darker path for Brian to show up, and instead of taking that and running with it, it completely just goes away like that the next episode. And I, I guess they you might want to say, like, oh, that's showing how Dexter is, you know, grown that he was able to resist after, you know, so quickly. Like, yeah, he had a moment of weakness, but he was able to snap out of it. I just, um... You know, most TV shows, they drag things out. This one should have been dragged out a little bit, unless it comes back later. But, uh... You know, like, that was it. Now it's back to Miami, it's back to Harry, it's back to everything. So what was the point of Moses Def's character? I mean... I don't know. I mean, I, I guess the point is, is that he did forgive Jonah for what Jonah did, and so he was able to get past it, but it just... I mean, it, I didn't expect Brian to be just a bump in the road. Um, I expected it to be, you know, like an exit uh, in the wrong direction, but as of right now, it's a bump in the road. Disappointing, me. Right? Um, especially about, and, you know, also the fact that Brian was actually kind of annoying. Like, he was a little funny, but he was just aggravating. He was like, dude, you know, knock it off. You know, just, yes, I get it. You, you're going to push him, you're going to push him. But it was just, I don't know. They made him kind of annoying. And I thought him getting hit with the car was kind of ridiculous. I mean, Brian was a little more, um, like, interactive uh, than Harry usually is. You know, throwing Dexter things, eating in the car again, getting hit by the car and everything like that, but I don't know, I, it was, um, it just didn't sit right, it was, it was just mediocre, it felt mediocre, and it felt like they crammed in him and Jonah, uh, now Jonah, I actually do think will come back toward the end of the season, because they, he left, they left him in such a bad, like, state, that that can't be where that stops, maybe, I mean, maybe they're gonna leave it to next year, I hope they don't, I hope they bring him back this season at some point, um, because he can come in and do some damage, uh, in the state of mind he's in right now, but, uh, we'll see. I mean, there was some funny stuff with the two of them, that was fine, you know, especially the, the two brothers holding the, the, the pitchfork. Um, so even that whole part, like, seemed, like, random, like, they needed Dexter to kill somebody, you know, so, eh, I don't know, I, I, I really, I really didn't like it. Um, but... That's it. the funny thing is I actually and this is, is hardly ever the case the everything else in this episode all the other characters back in Miami I thought had a much stronger um, like the plot and everything else was just much much stronger this episode um, the Colin Hanks almost thing I'm 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 liking that you know we still don't know if almost is real. Um, it's looking a lot like he... It's looking pretty much like he's not, but they even dropped, like, you know, the idea there was two voices and one was older. Um, it could just be Colin Hanks doing two different voices or something like that, but... The fact that we don't know and they're dragging... They're walking, like, that, like, fine line very, they're pretty well. Uh, it looks like that situation might come to a head next week, or at least we might get maybe some sense of an answer on it. Uh, but I like, you know, that Travis went back to his sister and he's trying to be decent again, although you did you know, kill people, so, um, you still need to answer for it there, buddy, and I'm sure you will, 
Uh, what else happened? I'm so annoyed by the Dexter thing, I can't even remember. Uh, Deb and Quinn had a nice, like, reconcile, and I'm glad she didn't get back with them because, uh, that would have just been, it just would have been a big old circle. Um, but it's nice that they kind of moved past everything, that which is, which is good. Um... I don't know. There was something I remember. Something with Deb and Laguerta. It annoyed me because it was Laguerta. So I don't. I don't even care. Forget that. Forget it. Um, what else? De oh, Masuka's intern is sitting in Dexter's apartment with Batista's sister. That's not good. It's not good at all. Um, I kind of like. Well, I like Batista's sister. Um, probably because she's hot, but you know, mostly because she's just not a bitch. Which is why I don't like Laguerta. Um, the other guy I'm not sure about. Not too sure. Um, you know, I don't even know. That's it, I think. I might be missing a completely huge plot point from the episode that I just don't remember right now. Whatever, it pissed me off. Season 6 was like going like this, and this one just f fucking road blocked it. Cock blocked it, whatever you want. It blocked it. It blocked good things that were happening and took a shit detour for me at least now yeah we may get back into the swing of things next week and stuff can really move forward i mean we only got five episodes left so uh it's gonna have to come to a head at some point um and if we get back to this stuff then i'll, I'll backtrack a little bit here and i'll say okay you know but i doubt it i bet jonah will show up and that's fine but i just it's annoying it annoyed me it pissed me off Piss me off. Okay, that's it. See ya.